Okay, uh, here we have part two of our review for Transformers Hen K Grimlock. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the first part of my review, I really like the figure. It's a great mold, uh, except for a few except for a few negatives. The feet too are too tapering. I don't like the Dinobot head uh, as feet. Uh, the arms, the forearms, and the thighs are a little bit short, but other than that, it's a great figure. It's got a neat little transformation, um, and I really like it. I like the paint application, which will be showcased a lot more in alt mode. Uh, just a quick view on the box. The box is like any Henke uh, figure. The only difference is the 208 Henke boxes are a lot better because they have the comic book illustration of the figure right here in the lower right-hand corner, whereas the 207 Henkes have the picture of the figure, the actual figure itself. Which is kind of dull compared to the uh, compared to the uh, comic book illustration, which makes the figure look alive. Okay, um, on with the figure. Uh, let's transform him. Uh, make sure you take out his weapons first. Uh, he does have a missile that shoots out. Okay. Uh, the whip will transform in this position, but uh, I suggest you take it off just for ease of transformation. But it's really up to you. Okay, uh, first what you have to do is connect the feet, just like the classic Scrimlock. It's not going to that too much. And then you close the uh, the jaws. That will form the front part of the alt mode, or the Tyron, the T-Rex. Okay, see even, even the hip guards have great detailing on them. It's got this red, uh, red paint application, which makes it just like uh, a part of his tor lower torso. Okay, straighten out the limbs. Okay, uh, close the latches beside his head and close it like so. Um, detach the arms. And here's the neat part you rotate this part and oh, sorry, and then rotate the waist, rotate this part of the head. Move the limbs up, rotate. This is your guide. This always stays on top if you get confused. Or it could just be me. And then you close in the feet, form the front part of the dinosaur, T-Rex. Uh, okay. And you're almost done. Uh, straighten out the feet, like so. Minus quality issues on the neck piece, and then you just have to put the uh, sorry, sorry about that. Just straighten this out and tab in the tail. Oh, if it will allow me to. Okay, there you go. You can do whatever you want with the tail. It's very flexible, uh, like so. Even in dinosaur mode, there's so much paint application detail on this figure. Uh, the teeth are painted white. The uh, classic version, the, Peter, the teeth are just gray. Uh, the gray plastic molding on this figure is so much like the G1. And now, with everything closed up, you can really appreciate the chrome, the amount of detail they put on the chrome and the gold chrome on this figure. Uh, let me just lower the camera so you can appreciate him better. Sorry about that. Um, and look at him. The, the paint on this guy, the paint application, the color scheme is very good. They really put a lot of thought in it. I mean, I, I just, you know, give it up for uh, Takara for really uh, staying faithful to the G1 uh, to the G1 look and feel of each figure that they make. I really, I'm really digging this. Uh, uh, the articulation for this figure is exactly the same as the classics uh, figure. Uh, it, it, you can pose him in more ways than the G1 figure. You can pose him in a crouching position. Um, I like the fact that the feet can spread, uh, which gives it more stability. Uh, you can give it uh, a lot, a lot more character in posing. Uh, like so. 
he doesn't look like a T-Rex right now when he's crouching this way. He looks more like a, a raptor, but the the characteristics of the limbs really peg him as a T-Rex. Anyway, uh, I really like this figure more than the Classics version. Um, I might even think of selling the Classics version that I have, but I don't think anyone's going to buy it right now since it's very old. But this this figure will, will take precedence uh, over my Classics figure in the shelf, on shelf. Uh, 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 on my classic shelf and Henke shelf. Uh, all in all, my final thoughts are if you don't have a mold, a figure, a figure mold of the Grimlock figure, um, you can get Overkill, you can get the classic version, but if you can find the Henke version, since it's an old, well, 207, and a relatively not, uh, a not, a non new Henke figure, it'll probably be on clearance. Just like here in Metro Manila. If you see him in Toys R Us or Toy Kingdom, pick him up. He just costs seven dollars and or three fifty. And a Henke figure for seven dollars is certainly well worth the money spent on it. Sorry about that. Just very excited about this figure. I really like him. Um, primarily because of the paint that's been done on him. Um, and the quality is way better than the classics version. So there you have him. Uh, Transformers Henke Grimlock. If you, if you can still find him, I say go pick him up. Thanks for watching.